Can it really be four years since Brian Burke here ready, came back to Toronto and was uh, ready to kick ass with this uh, hockey team? Here we are. Uh, the Leafs still aren't in the playoffs. Uh, they've had a different coach. Uh, there's been uh, many changes uh, around the roster. He's blown it up. Uh, he's come around the block three or four times, and yet the Maple Leafs are still here. I think uh, the you know there's a lot of uh, problems uh, in the dressing room. There's a lot of uh, issues with uh, the farm system. And this can't be what Brian Burke envisioned. And now the question is, with about one year remaining on his contract, is he the man to lead them out of the mess that he brought them into in the first place? Michael. Well, it was, it was interesting having been at the Brian Burke's press conference when they first uh, hired him. And he came in, and the guys, and he said, you know what, if you win in Toronto, you'll get schools named after you. Well, you know what, the only thing named after Brian Burke right now is a boat, and the fans want him on it, the last hot one dogs, out of town. That's, well, we forgot it, but yes, Berkey dogs. But, uh, you know, it, it, Lance ma makes a lot of good points. And, and when Brian Burke was hired, I actually thought it was a good hire because they put a guy in there. John Ferguson, a lot of us thought, was a mere puppet uh, for the board. Uh, Brian Burke is anything but that. But I agree with Lance. I think, Terry, that his ego probably, you know, uh, squeezed in a little bit on getting the job done. Well, you can see the uh, whole ego issue this year's eyes with just the whole fractured relationship with the media. I mean, a lot of this... Burke points to us as, as being the source of problems, which is ridiculous, and uh, a lot of hockey people say it's ridiculous. But uh, you know, I think a, I think a lot of the a lot of the things that have happened, he has to look in the mirror on, and and whether he can get past the ego and do that, that's who knows. Maybe maybe we're too late into the game for that to even be a possibility now. But uh, you know, it, it hasn't been uh, what what he said it was going to be. Everything that he said in that opening press conference about belligerence and everything hasn't happened. Top six, bottom six. Yep. Yeah, yeah, top six, bottom six. Start from the goalie out. All of these ways that Brian Burke said he was going to build this hockey team hasn't happened. And uh, like I said in one of the earlier segments, he essentially has one summer and one trade deadline now to get it right. And, you know, I was talking, guys, to a scout in, uh, in Boston recently, and he said, you know, the Leafs have the biggest front office in terms of people that are in there. But the only guy... Among all those people, among, you know, we can go down the list, the Nonuses, the Poulins, the Loisels, yada, yada, yada. The only guy with a scouting background is Rick Dudley. And he says that shows. It, it's great that these guys all worked at the head office, Rob, and stuff like that. But the actual bird dogs that watch guys play, it's Rick Dudley. That's the only guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look though. Did Brian Burke get stupid overnight? I don't. I don't really think so. But uh, you know, as we as we've all sort of discussed along here, this is the summer that he's really got to prove uh, what he's got as a general manager. I mean, so much has went wrong for the guy, and we've had a lot of fun in th with this with this series, uh, pulling out some of those landmark quotes that he's made, both upon his hire and each year that he gets eliminated. How saying stuff that you know. Uh, failure, missing the playoffs is failure and building from the net out and truculence and all those kind of catchwords. Maybe he came in here with a little bit too big of an ego. Maybe he thought he, his ego had to match the city, the, the whole center of the universe, hockey universe uh, mentality. And, and maybe he's uh, going to have his tail between his legs a little bit this summer. And, and maybe that'll be a good thing. Maybe that will uh, allow him to focus on, the, on the, the task at hand a little bit more than, uh, than perhaps he has over the past uh, three, three or four seasons.